what's up guys redemption game here and in this video i'm actually going to be telling you my problems with at and internet and why is it so horrible without further ado let's get on with the video shall we number one the overall service so basically we can't try to get another provider so you may be asking um uh, as a we can't get another broadband type other than DSL and I do have cable in my area but I have to see if it does work so you may be wondering oh redemption game why don't you do speak fiber or maybe even cable why well, couldn't get cable I have to see one of the coax even works in my house so don't even think this is even cable internet it's going to be close to cable and number two, for fiber, I have to live in an area where the equipment is served. And where I live, I don't get at and fiber, or, or I don't even talk about Google Fiber. Now that's not available in my area. And you can't even get Google Fiber where I, where I, especially where I live. So I live closer to a metro area, which is Miami, and my association board can't even decide when or when to put at and fiber in my complex and because we live in a townhouse all the wiring is all pre-done all pre-wired done and it's basically that's the situation we're in right now we're stuck with internet that the highest I can get is internet 25 according to at and themselves and that's pretty much it and every time I try to play zombies especially I have like four people with the game in it sometimes my latency spikes and no tomorrow like in a heartbeat thinking that there's something going on in the background I check my task monitor like there's nothing going on like how can there be something downloading in the background when there's near the game itself this, this is unbelievable Keep double checking, double checking. There's gotta be something downloading some of it. Um, and I even tried uh, connecting to the internet cord. By the way, my computer can only be on internet because it's the only way to plug into the internet. I have no Wi Fi on my system, so basically. So that's the problem. It's horrible service that you get. It's an ATT internet only uses um let's see copper phone cables if you live in some markets why don't you use coaxial cables like xfinity and other companies that have been proving themselves unfortunately ATT decides okay we'll use copper cables in, in markets that don't get the hyper the hyper speed internet which is fiber Xfinity does the same thing, but except they use coaxial cables in areas most of the time you don't, you're not going to get Xfinity fiber. In some markets, you could qualify for a choice of Xfinity cable or even the gig Xfinity fiber, which I can get that in my area, but I can get Xfinity regardless. But it's not going to be fiber optic Xfinity. So only available in some markets that they cater to that's the biggest problem what I'm hearing the other problem is every time we I download a, a game on my computer all the bandwidth is gone not distributed to other people equally and every time my dad wants to look at something like a video file that's a lot of megabytes to download he, he's like getting like for example um, 2 megabytes a second really ain't TNT so it's okay to use um, yesterday's technology today everybody else is using um, cable at least in area for you can't get fiber so this is just unbearably wrong and where, where in my room for example my bedroom I reworked my coaxo if you don't live in the MDO because coaxo, it, all these cables are pre-installed to the when they built the complex, so.
so you can't touch those wiring inside it involves breaking a wall in your complex so you can't do that so because that is a huge work off thing to do so this is a very explicit problem we're having the service number two because we have problems with the service we're also having the fact they are they raised the price on my mom's behalf ten dollars more than what we're pay, than what she's paying for for service that's not feasible so basically I found out with Xfinity she can pay sixty five dollars a month that's sorry seventy dollars in broadband for something better and we have higher megabytes a second but apparently at and will be I can look if you want to oh yeah if you have DSL and no matter your computer specs if they're really high on specs oh yeah good luck at trying to stream a video in 4 days cause this internet I'm trying to for sometimes playing a 4k video and it will it'll play but it's gonna have to involve buffering and buffering and it's just really annoying and I really wish I could just watch a 4K video. My computer can play it back no problem when it's an offline file that I downloaded. Again, seriously, even to download a 500 megabyte file which is pure small when there are other files to download takes an hour to download under my painfully slow internet. And that is what you get when you have not not many bandwidth to distribute. So really, AT and T, you think it's okay to? And of course, you get what you pay for. And unfortunately, and and if you those that live in in rural towns where you have all a store a couple hours or minutes away, that you your only option might be HughesNet or these other ones. Which honestly, luckily I don't have to deal with that, but still, I mean, the reason why Houston is 100% available because, and that's not a little bit off topic, because Houston is technically satellite and they can make it as launched into space as course, it's even worse. We think, we did not think I didn't want to go for that. Because that's basically internet from space, as long as it isn't too rainy, or there is there is under any form of branch in a way. That's basically internet like direct TV and that's honestly oh yeah my dad we have to all cancel direct TV that's a little bit off topic so I'll get to them in a second but again direct TV and AT&T or don't make a good combo with their internet and they have the same company that's getting we can get good internet also has TV service that, that you don't have to worry about your internet I mean I'm sorry your TV going off and losing late losing connection because of the high latency that spikes due to, due to severe weather that's obviously direct TV's problem so if you're having that issue you can obviously try other providers that I mean, we have viewers for our viewers not a problem with the TV when it rains and my mom blames the weather when it has this issue. But really, it's not, it's not the weather's fault. You can't blame the weather for something like this unless it's satellite. Because really, it's always going to be high in latency regardless of if there's... As far as you don't have severe weather, your internet's going to be always high latency. And that is the problem with satellite internet. Satellite TV, if you think that's also bad, think of satellite internet. 10 times worse than any provider on earth. Thank you. Have a great day and please subscribe to my channel.